Hi, thanks for joining me on a tutorial of subtracting integers. Remember in class we learned that instead of subtracting, we'll make every subtraction problem an addition problem by adding the opposite. Let's see what that means. Our first problem is 5 minus 19. I'm going to make my minus a plus and then find the opposite of 19. The opposite of positive 19 is negative 19, so my new problem is 5 plus negative 19. I now follow my rules for addition, which state that when my signs are different, I subtract my two values, so 19 take away 5 is 14, and I keep the sign of the larger value, which would be negative. Moving on, my next problem shows me that negative 18 minus 20 equals. I'm going to make my minus a plus by adding, and I need to find the opposite of 20. The opposite of 20 is negative. My new addition problem is negative 18 plus negative 20. My addition rules tell me when my signs are the same, I add my values, 18 plus 20 equals 38, and I keep my signs. My difference then is negative 38. For the next problem, 34 minus negative 18. I see it's a subtraction problem, so I'm going to make it an addition problem, and I find the opposite of negative 18. The opposite of negative 18 is positive 18. I now have 34 plus 18. 34 plus 18 equals 52. And my final problem, negative 8 minus 9. Again, I'm going to make an addition problem. The opposite of positive 9 is negative 9. Negative 8 plus negative 9. The addition rules say that since my signs are the same, I'm going to add 8 plus 9 to get 17. Since my they're both negative, my solution is negative 17. Please keep in mind when you do decide to add the opposite, you're always finding the opposite of the second number in the problem. You cannot change the first number. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.